So hello, this is Judy Lee from Dish with Judy, and I am here today with Kathy Skidmore. Now, I know I haven't done one of these in a while, so um, but I also wanted to point out, here's my new kitchen. <laughs> so I finally moved, finally got through the renovations, we survived it, and uh, I'm going to now do my, um, my interviews again. I'm going to start um, doing some cooking um, demos, and uh, so one of my first of people I'm going to introduce is Kathy Skidmore. So Kathy, tell us a little bit about yourself. Hi, Judy. Thanks for having me on with you. I'm so excited yeah. about uh, um, some adventures that we're going to uh, going to be talking about later. But um, but I've been a sipology or steep tea. Actually, they're calling them steep tea by sip or um, let me say it right. It's uh, <laughs> sipology by steep tea. <laughs> And I've been with them for nine years now. October was my uh, my ninth anniversary, um, and they're all loose leaf teas and just such wonderful flavors. If you love tea, if you love full flavored teas, if you like it fresh, um, this is the place to go to get your teas. And there's over a hundred different teas in the line, so everything from uh, your your traditional black teas all the way through whites and oolong and pu'ers and I don't know if I'm talking a different language here but anyways for all those tea lovers um, uh, we have something for everyone even your herbal stuff so if you're yeah. preferring something like peppermint or chamomile. I've, I've tried some of your teas they are delicious so Kathy has given me some samples and uh, what was that one that we tried the other day it was called citrus it was, it was a white a white tea and I think it's called honey citrus and it's yeah. very light and really good yeah yeah one of the ones I enjoy but you'll find I enjoy almost all of them <laughs> there's very few yeah that I, See, so that I do drink palate. I do drink both I, I drink coffee I like to have a coffee in the morning but I do like to sip on tea as well so you know for those of you who enjoy tea these are all all loose leaf right so yes yes they're yes all they're all loose leaf. Leaf. we do have a line that they call um heal thyself um, and in there, they have medicinal teas, and those actually are in tea bags, the oh, triangle okay. ones. Um, yeah. But those, again, are approved by the Canadian Health, um, and I don't know the correct uh, terminology, but they have gone through <laughs> through their um, their testing and have been approved through Health Canada. Yeah. So, uh, now, Sipology doesn't just have tea, too. They have other things, right? Yeah. Well, I mean, we have a whole set um, and kit that you can do for kombucha. So if anybody's a kombucha person. And I don't know what that is. So please explain. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's fermented tea. I don't know how else to explain other than that, but it's kind of like yogurt in the fact that it has all of those really good probiotics and stuff for your gut. Oh, um, so that um, sounds like a healthy word probiotics. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so we have a kit that helps you build or brew your own at home. So everything from the bottling through to the, the brewing um, of it. Uh, and to me, it's kind of like iced tea. If I tell people what it's like, it's, it's like an iced tea. You, you usually drink it cold and not hot. Oh, so okay. And it's, it's called kombucha? Kombucha. Kombucha. Yeah. yeah. Is, so is that's just... Is there like yeah. a cult cultural uh, thing with that? Is it from a certain country? Is that why... I'm uh, I'm not familiar with its background, okay. but I know. <laughs> okay, that's all right. I just wondered because the name kombucha it sounds very you know exotic. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah, it's been around for thousands of years too. It's one of these things that um, if your family's been doing it, they've been doing it forever, right? So, mm, and you'll find okay. it in the health health food stores now too, right? If you go into them, you'll find them bottled. Um, my concern about those ones would be whether or not they're pasteurized and then you're losing some of your, your good bacteria in there too. But uh, yeah. Um, yeah. So it, it's now, now, how did we meet again? With, uh, when was oh, the first time, first time we met? <laughs> <laughs> that's a good, uh, you know, that that's very interesting because you and I network so much. <laughs> <laughs> that I, I have a feeling it was to... not the mob because I know that no. you know a lot of people I know is from the mob the Mississauga no. area women in business but I believe we was it the yoga retreat that uh we no. were no, no I, I I was I 
and it could have been through Dewania because I know that. Yes, all right. Okay, Dewania Peel from Canadian Small Business Women. Um, It could be through there. Um, Okay. And, um, you know, I've done other networking. So uh, because it's been like, I mean, we probably have known each other at least five or six years. It's not like we just. Well, no, it couldn't be five or six years because I was probably still working corporate then. So I I would say a couple of years, but then we finally just met in person. And and now we're we're finally, actually, we're in the same neighborhood. So it seems like you you are just, yeah, I moved to Brampton (laughs) and uh, to Peel Village and Kathy lives here too. So that's how we kind of, you know, reconnect. Connected again. Reconnected, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I've been well. I've been in Brampton for twenty-two. Well, sorry, I've been in Brampton over thirty years, but I've been yeah. in this particular house for like twenty-two years. So, uh, oh, okay, um, yeah. So I know th- I know the area a little better than you do, but <laughs> I, I know, I know. I was really scared because I didn't know this area, but it's lovely, and I'm really enjoying it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. um, I, I just wanted to talk. You had asked about some other lines that we have in. Yes. In, um, in Cephology. Um, I wanted to mention about matcha in particular too. Um, okay. If anyone's a really big matcha drinker, um, we have over 20 different flavors <laughs> of matcha. So if you like strawberry, if you like vanilla, if you like... Oh, I didn't even know you could do that with matcha because I've only seen matcha in like bubble tea places and they just seem to be green tea matcha all the time. Right. Oh. And check, check the first ingredients. So ours are not sugar. <laughs> so we do have some what we call sweetened tea, but matcha is still the first ingredient. So oh, nice. you're getting pure matcha um, and you can get it either, as I said, sweetened or unsweetened, or you can get it plain too for the purest out there as well. So um, if anybody wants to add matcha and it's not thinking that they like the flavor, um, like this morning, I actually just opened a blueberry one. So Oh, just, blueberry sounds great. Yeah. 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 So wonderful okay. flavors. <laughs> so I just learned something yeah. new. I, I really thought matcha was this one thing that I see in bubble tea all the time. <laughs> So, or that oh, it has to be a latte too, right? A, a lot of wow. places only sell, they sell matcha lattes, right? Okay, so, great. Yeah. Okay, so so there's the tea lines. Um, do you still have, I think with seasonings before, but or is that kind of not happening anymore? Right, so, so this catalog, they introduced more of the what I'll call a sweet mix. So you 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 could add it to yogurt, or you could add it to um, a cheese like um, cream cheese and make a cheese ball out of it. Um, okay. So those are in in our are back in our line. So they have come and gone. Um, they've reduced the sugar in a lot of them because at one point they were <laughs> quite <laughs> oh. uh, quite high um, sugar count. Um, but um, they're just great for entertaining. And we do have a scone mix. If anybody's kind of afraid to make scones, this is the easiest recipe at all. <laughs> and I like so, to bake, but I've never tried to do scones. Yeah. Oh, this, this is so easy. If I can do it, because I'm, I don't consider myself a, a baker, like I'll do a few things, um, but this recipe, um, you just add an egg, some whipping cream, and you're basically yeah. done. So butter, oh. of course, too. <laughs> okay. So, so Kathy and I were together uh, just yesterday, and we were kind of brainstorming. And yes. so we have something to announce to everyone um, that's kind of exciting for us. Anyway, I hope it's exciting. <laughs> yes, yes. We, we're, um, we're going to be um, introducing in... Sorry, it's called tea. Uh, tea no, table? The, no, no, the Wait. tasting table. <laughs> yeah, this was just yesterday, so it's still fairly new for uh, for our brains to kind of grasp. There you go. It's called the, the tasting, tasting yes. table. The t- tasting table, where Judy's going to do her magic in the kitchen, and I'm going to do some magic with uh, teas and some tea recipes, and we're yeah. going to work together to uh, to provide you guys with some uh, some different the views of how to use tea and how to use pro, uh, some of the um, products that uh, Judy has with her uh, with her pampered chef all those wonderful appliances yep. and, and we're just I've gonna been together. such a fan of pampered chef so everything I I cook with or bake with a prop they're probably from pampered chef so but but that's not you know what we're really 
promoting. We're just trying to show you some tips and, and things that you can do, like very easy recipes, um, especially with the holiday season coming up. So I think that's, um, it's going to be fun. Like, like we're actually starting next week. Like we are going to post something next week. Now, now we're not brave enough yet to do it live. So the first one, I mean, we'll eventually, but I think the first one we're going to do um, pre-recorded Recorded, yeah. like, like this on zoom. And then we're going to um, post it probably on my YouTube channel, my, my blog dish with Judy, and then Kathy will probably put it on her YouTube channel. And what is your yeah. YouTube channel called? Um, it's actually just my name, Kathy okay. Skidmore. Um, okay. Yeah. Well, I will be, I'll will be putting the information um, on the bottom of this video as well. So anyways, uh, yeah, that's our exciting news. So next week, so probably by the end of next week, we will have a, a recording up. And then um, do you know what you're going to be making or doing? Yeah, we're going to do, do the sangria, right? We did, I, yes. I, I okay. So you're going to do the sangria with yes. some tea and um, whatever fruits and stuff. Uh, with so, it's, yeah. yeah. Very, and then, very simple recipe. Anybody can do it. So yeah. And <laughs> I was okay. thinking, uh, I mean, I'm trying to find something that can match with the sangria. And so I was thinking of either doing some kind of charcuterie or some kind of appetizer snack. So, so stay tuned. Um, we will announce what it will be. Um, but I hope you guys can join us and watch our video. And we'd love to hear your feedback as well.